Hey everybody. Hey, I had a question on the channel about fans, about this blower. Um, just to look back, I, um, I bought this blower uh, because it was advertised as explosion proof and I used this for painting uh, parts on my Camaro. The question that I had from the channel was somebody who, who uh, wrote a comment that said that that they had one of these fans and the instruction manual said not to use it in hazardous atmospheres. Um, I forget exactly what he said but you know where there were sparks and and so forth which certainly if that was the case wouldn't be explosion proof. So um, so I started to dig in I just you know when people ask me a question I try to you know work through and figure out what's going on and I'm going to start by saying, you know, I'm not an expert in this. Um, I'm trying to make sure that what I'm doing is safe for me. And uh, I'm going to show you some different resources, but go take a look. And, you know, if you're going to use something that's, you know, supposed to be safe, you know, check it out and make sure that you think it's really safe. One of the things I found in looking is that uh, you can go to certain places and you can buy fans that look just like this that are not rated explosion proof and you know definitely would not be they're not advertised as explosion proof but they look almost the same it could be deceiving so how would you know is kind of my question um, and I'm just gonna say from a superficial standpoint is you know this one's got a big switch up on top that's all sealed up and not a not a switch that's got an exposed handle. This one looks like it's gasketed, for example, to keep gases out of it. If you look through the end, the motor is pretty well sealed up. I don't see any openings on it. It's just, just me looking, right? Um, according to the advertising, this one is a Vivor, sold by Vivor. Uh, it's a BTF-30. The rating plate says it's an explosion-proof axial fan. Their advertising says that it's rated to an ATEX, A-T-E-X, standard. So they call this, you know, an ATEX rated fan. Um, what's an ATEX rating, right? What does it mean? And ATEX is a European standard for equipment that's used in explosive atmospheres. And that's why it has EX on things. And in my study, what it said was that, you know, you, sh you should watch out if you're using them in the U.S. and you're a business, um, that, uh, that OSHA, American USA OSHA, requires things certified by a U.S. Um, certifying agency, not European. And it's likely that the requirements overlap, but they're probably not identical. First, let's start with the rating plate. Let me show you what that looks like. This is the rating plate on my Vivor fan. And you can see down, it's got a CE label down in the lower left. It's got an EX symbol up in the upper right. The EX mark is EX, then D, then IIB, or 11B, Roman numerals, I'm not sure which it's supposed to be. Uh, T4 and GB and uh, it's a BTF 30 and personally if I didn't have that um, information on this rating plate I would not consider this an explosion proof fan and then I found a certificate that uh, Vivar had posted in their ads for these fans I did an internet search on ATEX and came up with some resources and again I'm not an expert on this but I'm going to show you what my decode looks like and you see if you think you agree there's an example of how these markings uh, look and uh, up here in this header you'll find things that say you know CE which is the European certification uh, the EX which means explosion proof and then all of these digits get decoded into a particular uh, that they all have a meaning and I'm I'm gonna walk through that here in a minute so the rating plate on mine is EX uh, then D then 2B 
then T4, then GB. And the certificate that I found posted on, on the website, it was just a picture of a certificate, but I'll show it to you again in a minute, um, is, a, is a 2, Roman numeral 2, then 2, then G, EX, then DB, 2B, T4, GB. So it added a few extra digits to uh, what's on the rating plate. And if I go into you know one of the ones that I found here, you can kind of follow the red arrows, but the Roman numeral 2 says that in its category, looks like it says that it's intended for use where there are explosive atmospheres with mixtures of air, gases, vapors, mists, or dust. Hmm? That sort of makes sense. Uh, category 2, equipment category 2, it says it's for gas, vapor, and mists. And uh, it looks like, if I decode it correctly, that it's for zones 1 and 21, 1 slash 21. And I had to go look those up. And it says an area where an explosive atmosphere is likely to occur. So, you know, up to 10% of the time you'd have an explosive atmosphere. And the G says that it's specifically certified for gases, not just for dust. It, it looks like maybe, you know, gases are more um, harder to protect against than dust. But don't know that. It's just kind of, I'm reading, trying to read between the lines. Um, and then at the bottom there's the EX symbol, which means that it corresponds to protection uh, for these uh, various standards. Then the DB, the DB and or D, the small DB and the small D, uh, up here says that it's, it's flame proof, that it contains explosions or prevents explosions. Mm, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, the 2B is is for a particular level of gas. They've apparently categorized gases based on how explosive they are. And, and, and they kind of work their way up. So, you know, 2A is propane. That seem to be pretty explosive. Then they've got ethylene, and this one is rated for that. But it's not rated for a gas. Um, I mean, they're going up to hydrogen, which is pretty doggone explosive stuff, and so I guess this one's not rated for being in hydrogen. So it says explosion proof, but like anything else, you really need to read between the lines and make sure that what you're buying or using is appropriate for what you're going to use it for. Um, the last one down there, the T4, the T4 is temperature class, and it's 135C, and I'm trying to remember, I think that was like 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So the surfaces of the motor inside here, none of the parts in operation should exceed that. And, you know, every explosive atmosphere has some ignition temperature. And the hotter the parts, the more likely you're going to set it off, you know, by being just too hot, right? You know, it'd be like an electric stove burner, right? If it's glowing cherry red, it's liable to set things off. So the maximum, the maximum surface temperature is 135C in operation. Then the GB means that the device ought to be used in explosive atmospheres with a high level of protection and it's not a source of ignition in the normal conditions of use or for foreseeable malfunctions. It's a high level of protection but not what they call a very high level of protection. So it's kind of in the middle. And then here's a copy of the owner's manual or the specification that I have. Uh, this isn't the whole thing but it's a BTF 30 um, but the whole BTF series um, is all in one in one folder, and when I went through it, I mean the other pages, I don't see anything that says that it's not explosion proof. This was the certificate that I found posted online. Now I'll be straight; it wasn't um, it wasn't posted with my BTF 30. It was actually, I think, posted with a BTF 20 or 25. It was a smaller diameter fan, but same design. It appears that all the BTF series are certified uh, similarly based on the on the way this you know e even here it says BTF series uh, axial fan is for this certificate and if you go all the way down there to line number 12 there's where where I picked up the the extra digits that it, you know it's EX uh, 22G then EX DB 2B T4 GB same series right that's where I got it 
And this is signed off by an organization called DNV. And actually, in my time in the auto industry, we worked with them. They're a, a global, I think they're Norway-based. Yeah, it says down at the bottom uh, that they're Norway-based, but they do global operations, and they would come in and certify us to ISO specs, uh, ISO certification in various things um, in the auto business. There are quality standards that are ISO specs that in the auto business that we had to uh, adhere to for uh, in our engineering processes and methods and manufacturing and so forth. And so uh, DNV was the registrar that we worked with and their auditors would come in and, and, and check us. So I'm familiar with the company. They're pretty thorough. So my, my bottom line message is that if you buy a fan and it doesn't have this rating plate on it, it's not explosion proof. I wouldn't trust it to be. I mean, check with the manufacturer. I'm, again, I'm not an expert. I'm just telling you what I'm reading. And I would say go back to the manufacturer and find out. But in my case, um, I'm not using this in a professional body shop. I'm not subject to OSHA. This is for my personal use. Um, it meets an explosion proof. So I was comfortable using it to paint parts for my car. If you need to go beyond that, the next level would be to look at UL certifications, probably. Um, they're, U they're one of the main listing organizations in the U.S. I'm pretty comfortable, I, but just my warning would be is if you find a fan and it looks like this, read the rating plate, and if it doesn't, if it isn't certified to this or an equivalent U.S. UL standard, um, I'd be very careful about it. So, I hope that answers the question, and that's all for now.